starting off with Squire, he is placed at your first position, which means he will be the first to take normal attacks, which means he will gain energy faster than the rest of your teammates, should he receive damage constantly. But that also means he will be closer to dying first, before he may get the chance to use his EX. Why is that important? All heroes EX is important to the game. If they die before getting to use their EX, their chance of winning the game will be smaller. But that's not the important part of this video. This video is about Squire, your first tank and the best one to use for starters. Looking at his skills, defensive stance, shield block, and overpower strike. Nothing much to talk about since he is a tank, but in terms of mana usage, Squire offers more than what other tanks can. Firstly, his defensive stance is what makes him really good. Draw a card for 0 mana and taunt. Compared to the other tanks, only one other hero can contest, but she doesn't taunt. Taunting prevents your opponent from targeting your other heroes. Secondly, his overpower strike gives weakened to your opponent. Although it costs 3, you'll help your team survive. And finally, third, not forgetting his EX, which I talked about earlier. For each hero has their own EX, Squire's EX can stun anyone you choose. That's Gladiator's EX, but he only stuns high HP target. These three things make Squire so versatile that he doesn't depend on gear to excel but his skills will help your team win. So who do you line up with Squire? I don't think you should be asking that question. Squire is great to have, but depending on the situation, Squire might not be the best answer to your team. Since Squire can do so much, his damaging department is very lacking. If you want your team to revolve around Squire, then putting gears and heroes that help Squire achieve what he does best, stunning your opponent, making them lose their chance to deal damage, or you could just put Squire in to force your opponent to take out Squire first, so that your remaining teammates can finish the game. Here are some lineups that I personally like, but only if you have the gears and characters for it. Focus Bracer, Python Skier, Storm Capacitator, Crystal Pendant, Witch Grail, Wine Distiller are gears you can use for Squire, and matching him up with lineups like Apprentice, Executioner, Archbishop, or Pirate Queen, Shaman, Priest, or Tavern Keeper, Marksman, and Alchemist. How should you use Squire's EX? This is a bit of advanced tips. Uh, you you kind of need to know what your opponent has played and judge what's going to happen. Say if they have someone who can power up another character, you can choose to stun the one that's going to be power up. But if you have items like Sticky Cobweb, Defense Scroll, Joker Card, Silent Lasso, or even Succubus Whip, then you can stun the one that's going to give the power up, because whoever's going to deal the damage will only be able to deal half the damage, or even lesser because of the items you use. All of this requires some judgement on your opponent's team, what the gear is available, which heroes are alive, what heroes do you have, and can any of your heroes disable skills like the items I mentioned earlier. Fatigue, discarding cards, disable gears, weakening their damage, or even freezing them. Squire can help excel at stopping your opponent from doing more harm if timed correctly. The last thing you want to think about is how to position Squire. Normally, Squire is, can be placed at the first position, but there's sound reasoning for putting Squire in the back. If your opponent has an attack that penetrates, the penetration damage is wasted because there's no one behind Squire at the fourth position. But that is if you decide to have another hero to act as main tank, and Squire will act as support tank, which also means the gears used for position 1 hero is mainly used for negating damage. Squire would then have to have a gear that helps him deal more damage or disable heroes more often. The gears you can use for in this case would then be Focus Bracer, Water Bracelet, Witch Grail, or Totem, Shimmer Candle, and Wine Distiller. And for the position 1 hero, you can use Barrier Orb, Hermit Cloak, Kershaw, Blood Charm, Obsidian Armor, or Gargoyle Kit. But the gear you will choose for this position 1 hero will have to depend on whether or not you're able to use the effects of the gear well. Say Obsidian Armor or Blood Charm, they should be able to use characters who can survive long enough to get their EX. Barrier Orb, Hermit Cloak, and Kershaw are great for reducing the amount of damage the earlier you equip it. Gargoyle Kit should be used if the hero can use skills regularly, or just to keep itself alive. In general, is Squire difficult to put in a team? Yes, if you're putting heroes that don't have a lot of damage. Here are some of the heroes with damage from the 4 rows. Attacker, you have Berserker, Markswoman, Sniper, Executioner, Thunderfist. For the Mage, you have Shaman, Frost Mage, Astral Invoker, Soul Reaper. And for the Healer, Druid, Alchemist, Rune Whisper. And for the Specialist, Craftswoman, Magic Breaker, Arcane Source, and Black Mage. There might be a few that I missed out, but these hero mentioned are definitely worth having in the same lineup as Squire. And Squire will keep them alive long enough to win the game. 
Now it's your turn to play. Peace. If you don't already know, there is a Discord link where you will get to know other people who have played this game definitely a lot longer than me. Uh, you can ask them questions or you can just like try to uh, trade cards with them or you know try to suggest some of the ideas that you can actually improve on this game. So uh, links down in the description below.